Hi, I'm Chris from Cinti Studios, and today we'll be creating some animations for this security camera in Unity. We'll also be setting up a controller and looking at how to control this in a script. Then we'll move on to creating this spanner animation where we control multiple parts of the model in a single animation. So to start things off, we'll open the animation window under Window Animation. We'll select our camera and we'll press Create to create an animation clip. And we'll give it a name. This one we'll call Camera Rotation. The part of the camera that we want to animate is the camera head. But down here, if we press Add Property, open up the camera head, Transform, Rotation, and we'll add this to our animation. And what we have here by default represents one second in our animation. But we'll stop this and we'll delete the end keyframe. And using the scroll wheel on our mouse, we can zoom out. As this animation will be roughly 14 seconds, we'll make sure we get that on our timeline. So what we want here is for our camera to start off on the left hand side, so we'll set this to 48, and then roughly at the 14 second mark we'll make a new keyframe with this button. So we'll start at 48, and we'll end at 48. And then we can use these buttons up here to skip back to the previous keyframe. So next we'll want another keyframe at around 6 seconds, again at 7, and then 13. So what we want to do here is start from the left, go all the way to the right, pause for a second, go all the way back to the left, Pause for a second and then loop the animation. So we'll just set the rotations that we want. So this one here we'll set to minus 48. And the same for the next one. And so that's it for our basic animation. And next we need to create two additional animation clips. One for yes and one for no. And we can do that with this drop down button here. And selecting create new clip. So for the first one we'll call this camera yes. And then we'll create the second. And we'll call this camera no. So we'll start off with the no, we'll add a property, go for the camera head again, transform, rotation, and we'll delete that last keyframe. We also have this recording mode here, so if we enable this, move along in our timeline, and then we'll move the camera. And you can see it will automatically create our keyframes for us. In this case, I just want a bit more manual control, so we'll just set these manually. And so that's it for our camera no animation. And from this drop down, we'll change it to camera yes, and we'll create this animation. So we'll add a property, and again, camera head, transform, rotation, we'll delete the last keyframe. And for the first keyframe, we'll set this back to the center. So the look we're going for here is just a nice subtle nod of the camera. So we'll set this back to zero, and like in our last animation clip, just add a couple of keyframes. So for the first one, we'll set this to minus 10, and back up to minus 10. And that's it for that one, a nice simple animation. And now we'll want to bring all of this together in our controller. So on our camera, we'll open our animation controller. And as you can see here, all the animation clips we've just created are in our controller ready to go. We'll start off by making some transitions between our rotation to the camera yes and the camera no. And then we'll go back. We'll also want to be able to go between yes and no. And under the parameters tab, we'll add some new booleans. We'll add a camera yes and a camera no. And we'll set up some conditions for the transitions. So between camera rotation and camera yes, we want camera yes to be true. And for all of these, we'll disable the has exit time as we want it to go straight into the animation. Then to return back from camera yes, we want both of these to be false. And then the same for camera no. To go to camera no, camera no must be true. Return back. Both of these again will be false. And we'll make sure we disable the has exit time for both of these. And then the same here to go from camera yes to camera no. Camera no must be true. To go back the other way, camera yes must be true. Now we'll set up a script just to debug everything and test it out. So to do that, we'll go game object, create empty, and we'll call this controller. Add a new script and we'll call this camera effects. And we'll open up the script, we'll get a reference to our camera animator, and then in our update function we'll be swapping between the animation states, so we'll just be looking for key presses to manually swap these out. We'll be looking for the number 1, 2 and 3 key down, so by setting the booleans for the camera yes and the camera no to false, it'll go back to the basic rotation. Number 2 on the keyboard will set the boolean for camera yes to true and camera no to false. Then we'll do the opposite for number 3, so we'll set camera no to true, camera yes to false. Save the script, then back on the game object that has a script attached. We need to assign our security camera, so we'll drag this in. Now we'll press play, 
and then we'll test out the script. So we have our basic rotation, pressing 2 will give us a yes, back to basic rotation, 3 will say no, 2 will take us straight into yes. So the last thing we may want to change here is if you see we go to 2, back to 1, the camera goes all the way over to the left, and we can change this in our controller. So in our transition, back to the camera rotation, see we have our little preview here. And this will show our transition between the two animations. So if we're wanting to go from this state here to be into the middle, if we get to roughly in the middle of the animation, and we'll drag that across. And now if we check our animation, you see we go from a bit of a nod, and then the camera continues to move. So we'll do the same for camera no. Now if we test this out, pressing 2, and then we continue where we left off, and then 3, and continue from the middle. So just personal preference as to how you prefer it. And now we'll move on to this animation that you see here, and rather than just the rotation, we're also changing rotation, scale, and the emissions in the mesh renderer. So to start this off, I have the FX Repair Mesh, which is actually used in the Polygon Street Racer pack as a particle effect. We'll create a new material, give it a name, and we'll apply this material to the mesh. Then with the mesh selected back in the Animation tab, we'll create a new animation clip. We'll give it a name, press Save. We'll start off with the rotation. As this has no children, we're doing it directly onto the Repair Mesh. So we'll add a property, Transform, Rotation, and we'll delete out our last keyframe. We want our last frame to be at 90, and we'll create a keyframe. We want this animation to go across two full loops of the game object, so we'll set this to 720. And we'll also add a couple of additional keyframes, so at 30, and at 90, and at 60. And as we'd set up our first keyframe and our last keyframe, these ones here have auto-populated whatever the value was for that part of our animation. So then next we'll look at adding the scale. For the first keyframe we'll set these to 0.7, and up to 1, and we'll leave these at 1. And for the last we'll go back to 0.7. And then in the middle here at 45, we'll just bump these up to 1.2. That just gives us a little bit of extra kick in the middle. And then the last effect is the emission color. So we'll just double check on our material that we have emission ticked. And back into our animation, add property, mesh renderer. And if we look for material emission color. So for the start, we'll leave all of these at zero. In the middle keyframe here, we'll set green one. And then back to zero. So now when we play our animation, you can see we get the nice green glow as it grows. And then just looking at a few little tweaks that we can do. So if we select all of our keyframes there, we can just drag them around roughly into the middle. We want to smooth things out a little bit. And if we also want to get rid of that pause in between the animation, if we go into curves, so at the start, we change this to linear. And at the end, we'll also change this to linear. And by removing the easing in and out by setting it to linear, you can see we just get that nice continuous rotation when we loop the animation. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there's anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos. Or check out our community Discord. The link is in the description.